Hey everyone, my name is Allie and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my August wrap up and my September TBR. So we are back here again on my bed to do this video because I really liked this background for my lover reaction video and I just thought like this would be super fun, super chill, nothing too like fancy like over in my corner with my bookshelves. And I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about some of the books that I read this month. So I figure we'll start off with the two audiobooks that I read this month. And if you watched my video where I read non-booktuber, YouTuber, book read... So if you watched my video where I read recommendations from non-booktuber YouTubers, then you'll already know the two books that I'm going to talk about. And the first one is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I gave that a 3 out of 5 stars. I didn't really enjoy it all that much. It was a fast audiobook, which was really nice, and there were some moments that I really enjoyed. But overall, it was a pretty forgettable premise. The characters were pretty forgettable. The plot was really forgettable. I like just, it didn't leave any sort of impact on me. I didn't really gain anything from the story. It wasn't really fun. I guess the way that I'm explaining it now kind of makes it seem like it should be a two out of five stars. So I might lower the rating. I just really didn't like the book. I don't know why. It just really wasn't my cup of tea. And I wish that I had really enjoyed it because I wanted to find a John Green book that I would like. And I really wanted to like at least one of the books that I read for that video. But that book really wasn't for me. And I could see why other people might enjoy it but I just didn't really get anything out of the story or the characters or really anything about the book, so it was definitely a pretty disappointing experience. The next book I read for that video was Sweet Bitter by Stephanie Dandler, and I gave that a 3 out of 5 stars as well. That one I enjoyed a little bit more than Turtles All the Way Down. I really liked some of the characters, and some of the plot points really did stick with me, but overall it was another kind of forgivable book. I did end up watching the first episode of the show because there's a show on stars that is an adaptation of the book and I have to say that the book is way better than the TV show. Like it makes the book seem so much better in comparison. The TV show is absolute garbage. It's just trash. There's nothing redeeming about that show and I would have probably even paid for stars just to watch that show if it had been good because I really like the idea of the book. I figured that it would work really really well as a TV show but clearly I was wrong or the creators of the TV show are just absolutely awful because that show was so pretentious but also it felt like it had been produced by a potato like it was just so bad and there's like zero production value the costumes were like not there and the casting was really weird for a lot of the characters so it was just I couldn't really believe it and a lot of the stuff looked so different than how I imagined it in my head and it just didn't seem to fit really well with the book. So I was pretty disappointed by the TV show. Okay, on to the physical books that I read for this month. The first physical book that I read was Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. And I gave this a five out of five star rating. I really, really enjoyed it. This is also my first pick for book of the month, which is super cool. So I really enjoyed Wicked Fox. It definitely drew a lot of inspiration from K-dramas, which there are quite a few different little K-dramas that I like to watch every once in a while. And I found it a lot of fun to kind of read something that was a written K-drama. And I just loved all of the Korean culture in it. And I loved the setting and I loved the romance and I loved the mythology. It was just so much fun. I've never read a book anything like Wicked Fox. And I'm not typically an urban fantasy reader, so maybe there are some other books out there similar to Wicked Fox, but this was so different for me and I just really, really enjoyed getting to read it. And if you're looking for something that is K-drama inspired, or if you're looking for something that is urban fantasy but is kind of refreshing and different from the normal 
urban fantasy that is put out, then I think that you should really check out Wicked Fox. It is such a cool book. And it's also part of a series which I didn't know going into it, so I'm definitely really excited to see what is in store for these characters in the next book. And the last book that I read for this month wasn't actually a book I was planning on reading this month or really ever, but there were some circumstances and a little bit of confusion that kind of made me have to read this book. And that is The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. And I actually have an arc for the sequel of this book that I didn't know was the sequel of this book. But thankfully I already owned this book and I was going to unhaul it, but thankfully I didn't unhaul it because I love this book so much. I gave it a four out of five stars and I just really, really enjoyed it more than I expected to. Because I remember when I bought this book and I started reading it, it wasn't really grabbing my attention and it was so different than I expected it to be and I was a little disappointed. But I think I kind of judged it a little prematurely because once I got further into the novel and really got to experience everything that was going on in the main character's life, I really started to understand the novel and really enjoy it more. And I was just so surprised that I had started off wanting to unhaul it. And now it's like one of my new favorites. Basically the back says, when Paige Hancock's first boyfriend died in a swimming accident, she shut out almost everyone. Now Paige has decided it's finally time to rejoin the world and she has a plan. First on the list, go out with Ryan Chase, her longtime and newly single crush. And last on the list, swim. Terrifying yet possible. And I just loved this story. I loved the way it wove in grief and love and friendship. It didn't really focus too heavily on any one topic. I felt that it really showed the full scope of a teenage girl's life where it's not just all about romance, it's not all about friends, it's not all about school, it's not all about grief, it's everything. And it really encompassed her entire experience with all of these things that were happening. And I just really enjoyed it. I really loved the way that it was written. I thought it was super cute. And once I got into it, it really went by so fast. And I'm so glad that I ended up reading it. And I'm a little over halfway into the second book and I'm really enjoying that one as well so I can't wait to finish that ASAP. Okay so on to the books that I'm going to be reading in the first half of September because the second half of September is going to be dedicated to the Latinx book being a readathon only and I'll put up a TBR for that once it gets closer to September 15th which is when the readathon starts. So if you want to kind of keep up to date with that you can either follow me on Twitter or you can follow the Latinx book being a readathon on Twitter. I'll put like the link either somewhere down below or on the screen and without further ado let's get into the books that I want to read for the first half of September. Okay so I have kind of a weird mix of books here. I have some adult, some young adult, some contemporary, some fantasy. So it's just gonna kind of be a weird beginning of the month but I'm super excited for it. So the first book that I have here is Starcrossed by Minnie Dark. I got this recently and I'm just so excited to read it. I keep looking at it on my shelf being like I really want to pick it up. I don't know when I can pick it up but I just want it to be soon. So I'm hoping that I can get to this in September at some point. There are a couple of books that I'm actually in the middle of right now but I'm not going to add them into the TBR because I'm hoping to finish them like either today or tomorrow or at least in like maybe the first day or so of September so I don't really know. But I'm really excited about this book and from what I understand it's basically kind of a contemporary romance about these two people. One of them is really into astrology and the other isn't but that's about all I know. It just says when childhood sweethearts Justine, Sagittarius, and Sirius Skeptic and Nick, Aquarius and True Believer, bump into each other as adults, a life-changing love affair seems inevitable. So that sounds like really super interesting and I love the cover, it's just so gorgeous and I haven't really heard anything about it yet. I don't really know anyone who's read it but if you've read it then let me know what you thought of it or if you're also excited then be excited with me and hopefully I can finish this in September before the readathon and hopefully I really enjoy it. The next book is actually another book of the month pick but it's not for book of the month YA. 
and it is Well Met by Jen DeLuca and I got this for the regular book of the month because I did start a subscription to it and I am so excited to get into this book. I haven't really read anything about a renaissance fair before and I've never actually experienced a renaissance fair so it's definitely going to be a lot of like new things for me and I just think it sounds really cute. I love the cover because it's one of those illustrated covers that I love and basically the inside says a laugh out loud romantic comedy debut where a little flirtation between sworn enemies proves that all is fair in love and war. And I just love that description so freaking much. I love the hate to love aspect. I think I'm really going to enjoy it. And I do know some people who have already read this book and they really, really enjoyed it. So I think that I'll also enjoy it as well. So the next two books are YA and are fantasy. And I'm a little embarrassed that I haven't finished them yet because I did start them a few months ago and I just have never gotten back to them. So we're trying to come back to them now and I really hope that I'm able to finish them. So the first one that I have is Strange a Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and I feel like I really need to get into this book because the annual book sale that I love to go to and buy books from is coming up soon and I bought this one last year at that same book sale and I haven't finished it so I feel like I really need to finish it and I really did love what I read of this book. I just felt like maybe it wasn't the right time for me to read it. I might have to restart it because I don't really remember too much of what happened. It seems like I am at the 56 page mark because I do have a bookmark in here, but I really honestly can't remember too much of what's happening. Um, I do remember reading it and enjoying it because it's kind of like Atlantis, the lost city. And I love that movie, it's so good, that Disney movie. I've actually never read anything else by Lainey Taylor before, so it's kind of like my first book of hers. So I feel like it's kind of something that I have to get used to with her writing. And I don't know, I don't know really why I stopped reading this because I really enjoyed it. And maybe I was going through a little bit of a reading slump, that's probably why. But I'm definitely really excited to get back into this story and this world and these characters and see what ends up happening. And the last book on my TBR is another one that I just stopped reading randomly. And that is The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. And I am currently... 66 pages into this book and I just stopped reading it randomly one day. I really don't know why I couldn't tell you but I did really enjoy a lot of what I read from this book. I feel like maybe it was a little dense for what I wanted at the time so that's probably why I semi DNF'd it and I feel like I've definitely been craving a little bit of a more dense fantasy lately so I feel like this is definitely going to be something that I'm wanting to read right now and I hope that I enjoy it because so many of the people that I love and trust here in this community have read this book and loved it so I feel like I kind of have to love it and I really think that I'm going to enjoy it and I have a lot of high hopes for it and I'm sure that it's going to meet all of those high hopes. All right, so that was my wrap up and my TBR for both the month of August and September. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also comment down below some of the books that you're excited to read in the month of September. And also be sure to follow my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Goodreads and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Silence, my